Hi friends, hi Little Flowers friends. This is Reverend Stephanie Vader. I wanna tell you the story of the first Christmas. This is the story of the birth of baby Jesus. There was a woman named Mary. She lived in the town of Nazareth. And an angel came to see her. And whenever angels come to see people, it's a little frightening. And so the first thing the angel always says is, do not be afraid. And the angel said, Mary, I've got really good news for you. You're going to have a very special baby. This baby will come from God and will teach people how to love each other and take care of each other and remind everyone how much God loves them. And Mary said, okay, I can do that. Sure, she said, yes, I will. And the angel said, okay, God is with you. And the angel left. And some time went by. And Mary and her husband, Joseph, had to travel a long, long way. They had to go to another city far away called Bethlehem. And they did not have a car. They did not have an airplane. They did not have a train. All they had was their feet for walking and a donkey to help carry things. And so they walked and they walked and they walked. And soon they got to the city of Bethlehem and they went from door to door. Joseph said, hello. Do you have any room where I can stay with my wife? She is about to have our baby. She is so pregnant. We need a room to stay in. And every house they went to said, I'm sorry, all our rooms are full. We don't have any room for you. And Joseph was very worried. And Mary was very worried. And the donkey was worried too. And they kept asking house after house and everyone said, no room, sorry. But finally they came to a house and the innkeeper said, I have no rooms that are free and available, but I have a barn. You can stay in the barn with your donkey. And the donkey was happy about that. And you can have your baby there. And Mary and Joseph said, thank you, thank you so much. And they went around and found the barn. And in the barn were some animals. There was a nice cow. Moo. And the cow said, come on in. It was a talking cow. <laughs> and Mary and Joseph went into the stable, into the barn, and their donkey came in too, and made friends with the cow. And soon the time came for the baby to be born. And Mary had her baby. And they knew because the angel had said, you should call him Jesus. And Mary gave birth to her baby and held the baby in her arms and said, oh, little special baby Jesus, I'm so happy you're here. And then Joseph made a bed for the baby to lie in some straw. And the cow said, that's okay, you can lie in my straw. And they placed their baby in the straw and the baby went to sleep. Meanwhile, Far away, out on some hills, 
Away from the town, there, was a sh there were shepherds and sheep. Shepherds are people who take care of their sheep. And they were out in the fields, keeping watch over their sheep. And suddenly, a bunch of angels came and were up in the sky. And they started singing, Gloria. And the angel said, do not be afraid. I have good news. There's a baby that's been born in the city of Bethlehem. Go and you will find him in a stable, in a barn with some animals. And go say hello to him. And the shepherds were so excited and so were the sheep. And they said, let's go. And the angel said, bye-bye, disappeared. And the shepherds and the sheep went to see baby Jesus. And they were so excited. And Mary and Joseph said, come on in. Look at our beautiful little baby. And everyone was happy to see the new baby. Now far, far away in another country, a big star was rising up in the sky. And there were some people named Magi who paid attention to the stars at night in the sky. And they saw the big star and they thought, hmm, that star means something. Let's follow the star and see where it goes. And so the Magi followed the star. And they walked, and they walked, and they walked, following the star for a long, long, long time, many, many months. And finally, the star came to rest over the place where Mary and Joseph and baby Jesus were staying. And so the Magi came to see baby Jesus, and they brought gifts to him, presents. Sometimes when you go to someone's house, maybe you take them a present. Maybe you take them some food, a casserole, something to eat. And they brought presents, and they were so excited to see this special baby Jesus. And once everyone had gathered, they said, let's sing happy birthday to Jesus, because that's what this story is about. It's the birthday story of Jesus. And so they sang together, and you can sing with me now. Happy birthday to Jesus. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jesus. Happy birthday to you. And that's the end of our story. It was so nice to see you, little flowers friends. Bye-bye. Merry Christmas.